Hello everybody and welcome to the second tip tutorial for TC2 Note Painter. In this video I'm going to take another popular request and that is splat painting. And um, well again we're starting off with the biome paint demo. You can take any terrain you have, um, well doesn't really matter anyway. It's just another layer addition to the splat channel. So um, in this video I think it's the first time I introduce uh, the splat or rather multi-format canvas which is basically another type of canvas next to value painting uh, value format which we have in the height painting and it can be used to mask certain things together in this uh, demo I already have a bio manager I didn't come to explain it in a video yet uh, basically it masks biomes so for example you can't can paint a desert. Now while this is useful we still don't have the um, per pixel control over the, the splats. So in this video I'm going to show how to do exactly that. We're starting with uh, the same concept of course so um, we're creating another multi-format that is outsourced out of the, out of the node graph because uh, well you don't have to put any node painter strictly on nodes. Um, it will take the node on the same object and assign the canvas to it, but you can um, specify additional node targets, which we've seen in the first tip tutorial. Oops. Uh, so, with that said, make sure you reset the position to zero. I'm going to name it Splat Manager with a single node painter on it. And as I said, we're going to select the multi format with an initial number of say four channels and let's name it splats <coughs> so um, you see a total of black and we have four additional color fields down here these are the channels you can select them and uh, even start the painting but this won't help you anything right now first we have to understand the concept and what we want to achieve basically um, with each thing you paint you're going to assign the result of a single channel to a node so each uh, single channel rep represents one splat for us and um, in order to achieve that we ca could just uh, assign for each channel a splat but um, well, for the procedural means, we also want a channel to erase everything. So we want a channel to erase what we painted and reveal the underlying procedural textures. So in order to achieve that, uh, we have another channel, the base channel, which uh, serves as an eraser. This basis of the concept, concept of normalizing channels, I'm going to show that in a moment. But first we have to make or select a base channel. The base channel for us is obviously going to be the clear channel, so fill channel, right click fill channel, uh, fills the whole canvas with, with that channel. So we have the base channel, and if you go on current, you have in below the preview uh, toolbar of mix, which shows the mix of our total colors, and current. So with the red channel selected and current, we see we have a black dot where the green is white. Right, this is a concept of normalizing channels. So if we paint blue, you see the blue channel fills up, but also the red channel decimates. Same concept when we now paint the red channel here, it will decimate both the green channel and blue channels. This allows us to select exactly one splat at one position or with uh, the red channel no splat at a position it, and painting it automatically erases all other uh, plain painted splats at that position. So I recommend to keep uh, normalized, normalized channels uh, enabled basically for all occasions when using uh, multi-format. There's basically no reason to not use it usually. So um, now that we have uh, the concept of multi-format explained, just the basics, we can start off by conceptualizing which channels uh, should correspond to which uh, splat textures. So 
we always say the red channel will be the eraser the uh, green channel will be the grass texture so what you can do is right click and select the display texture and search for a grass texture now we know this is grass same for blue which will be rocks and sand will be uh, yes yellow will be obviously sand found it so all right now that uh, setup doesn't do anything right now so next step is to create the node graph what we'll have to do is um, we can with the right click on the plus button create a node layer this node layer will host all uh, splats we want to paint so it can easily be collapsed and stuff like that and for each splat we want to um, add we add another child layer so we have um, oops that's the wire manager we have the grass rock and sand right now so we're going to create for each on these layers uh, we had grass we had rock and we had uh, this kind of sand I'm going to take this one oops did not name this now it's Splat Manager and um, now uh, in order to tell TC, TC to Node Painter that this channel belongs to this layer we have of course to add a mask node on the layer go into Splat Manager select the uh, grass channel expand node targets as uh, seen in the previous tip tutorial and now we can add an additional node target by clicking the log again and just dragging and dropping it same for the other two ones don't mind the terrain turning black that's well expected somewhat expected going to explain it in a moment now um, you see that we have all assigned the node previous should update so when you paint you have some feedback okay just remind you to scale to the whole train size in my case 2 by 2 so again so we have some feedback that kind of looks okay but the whole procedural splats below this um, basically is erased this is uh, because of a somewhat unexpected behavior I would call of the lerp um, blend mode of this layer we want it to be on lerp that's not it but um, we uh, expect would expect it to take the mask results of this and use it as a lerp basically but uh, what it does is it expects the masks which 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 is which 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 is lerps wow complicated we um, it expected here so what we have to do in order to get the correct results uh, unfortunately on right now it's a kind of workaround we have to for each layer we have down here add another node and assign uh, the same node so uh, we have for each channel we have two node targets same push it do So let's just wait and see what happens if we don't do that. So um going to undo our changes. We do have a kind of working setup right now. We can paint the grass. You see it appears here and the walk. But now if we try to paint the sand it works where we have the other two painted already but only kind of because painting the sand obviously removes them again so um, it doesn't really have any effect right now so if we complete the setup enable the node again if we complete the setup right now 
we should see expected results okay and now well it basically works we have to optimize a bit because well um, the add brush is not really suited for this you see it takes even with uh, uh, oops, with no uh, full intensity it takes quite a long time to paint full intensity so what we can do is take another blend mode we have to take attention uh, because the multi format doesn't support all blend modes for example you see a node wi uh, with channel normalization it doesn't support replace or smoothen and contrast so what works best I found is using lerp because lerp uh, works great in this scenario you see we have got immediate response and it works quite well Oops, did not select it and with the varying intensities we can get softer results you can use add of course it works but it's slow so um, now that we got that we, uh, we can see what the erase channel exactly does because well right now we can't we can't remove like, well, we can try you can invert the brush but the results are not exactly what we would expect now I'm trying to remove the sand oops need to be in add well, it doesn't work so what do we do to remove it uh, what we can do is just select the erase channel obviously what we had here and while it is not um, assigned to any node here so it doesn't shouldn't affect the canvas what it does do is erase all uh, what we had here all other channels now this is a very wide range to Oops, that works and with the erase channel we can erase uh, everything what we had and reveal the underlying uh, procedural texture so if you happen to have any change uh, you, w you want to remove maybe on a large scale because you changed the position of a mountain you can just erase what you, you what you painted and readjust you can also paint here to remove With that said, uh, that's basically everything you need to know. One more thing, if you want to add a channel, that's uh, the same procedure. Oh, well, also, um, you can um, just as the buyer manager, you can just say I want a composition of splats that I want to paint. So not only one splat, but two splats that are maybe lapped by. Perlin. Perlin with a bit of a smoothing. And I want to paint that or any other complex of notes. We can do just that. We uh, uh, take it as a normal layer. We have to add two new node targets. Rem rem remember this up here. So we add another node. In Splat Manager, we are going to adjust and drag the new nodes in here. And now, oops, I just don't know what I did. So, create a new channel, obviously, you can also insert with right click and do that. Don't forget to click the lock. And now when painting, yep, it works. We can assign another display texture. Like 
one of the two that we left. Now, um, if we paint this, we should see some. Um, okay. Oops. Unlock the inspector, obviously. And yes, it's just blended. Okay, the textures are not very di differentiable. Yes, that works. Looks bad, but works. Alright, so um, you get the point. You can paint anything you want. <laughs> now, um, you can, for example, increase hardness and fall off to get more precise control. And you can erase it. So I hope I didn't forget anything. Just like the last layer in the the smooth smoothen layer, you can just collapse it. Um, if you didn't see the last tip tutorial about uh, the smoothen, uh, I recommend you to check it out. Basically, what I did is uh, show you how to plateau certain parts of the train, like this, so you can place houses and stuff like that um, and if you have any requests uh, about other uh, different tip tutorials uh, just post them in the forum and I will try to make them so um, well, that's it basically for this video and see you in the next video